When flying a visual approach, it can be helpful to have some reference points in the flight plan. This can help ensure a more stable approach. The Advanced Cockpit Environment Avionics System on Pilatus Aircraft allows you to build a visual approach in the active or secondary flight plan. The visual approach can be to any of the following destination waypoints. Navigation database waypoints, pilot defined waypoints listed in the custom database, or latitude longitude coordinates. You can make the approach a left or right hand downwind pattern, or just a straight in. When you activate a left hand or right hand visual approach, it creates a lateral profile with three temporary waypoints, a beam, base, and final. For the straight in approach, the a beam and base waypoints are not created, so the approach starts at the final waypoint. Vertical guidance for visual approaches is provided down to an at altitude constraint at the destination waypoint. VGP mode is used for the vertical guidance during the approach. You can add a visual approach to your flight plan using one of three different methods. The first is by clicking on the destination airport, which displays the graphical flight planning task menu. The second is by selecting the destination in the flight plan, which shows the flight planning task menu. The third method is by clicking on the aircraft symbol to show the aircraft task menu. Regardless of which way you choose, clicking on Visual Approach shows the Visual Approach dialog box, which is what you will use to define your visual approach. First, let's discuss creating a visual approach to a runway that is already in the navigation database. The runway symbol is shown as a solid blue rectangle on the graphical inset. Use the Runway drop-down menu to change the runway if needed. It defaults to the first runway in the list for that airport unless you have already loaded an approach runway in the flight plan. You cannot change the course and runway elevation. They are just there for informational purposes. Select which type of approach pattern you would like to fly. Recommended is displayed next to the recommended type of approach for this runway. The Mag True selection only affects the graphical depiction of the approach course in the dialog box and does not impact the mag true selection on the primary flight display or iNav map. The threshold crossing height is defined in the nav database for the selected runway. The approach angle defaults to 3 degrees, but you can change it. The base distance defaults to 1 nautical mile for left or right downwind approaches and can also be changed. However, when you select a straight in, this field is grayed out. The final distance defaults to 2 nautical miles for all visual approaches, but you can modify this as well. Now let's talk about building a visual approach to a user-defined destination, such as an airport that is not in the navigational database. In this case, you will have to define the point you want to fly the visual approach to. We will just highlight the differences from building a visual to a runway that is already in the database. The runway on the graphical inset is dashed with no fill, instead of a blue rectangle as we saw previously. The runway drop-down menu is not selectable. The course entry field is used to set the course for the runway. A number has to be entered here before you will be able to enter the visual approach into your flight plan. The mag true selections can only be made after you have entered in a course. If you are building an approach to a user-defined waypoint, the runway elevation field is filled with dashes and requires you to manually enter in the elevation. If you are building a visual to a navade, then the navade elevation is loaded. The approach type options remain the same. The only difference is there will not be a recommended pattern. The threshold crossing height defaults to 50 feet but can be changed if needed. The approach angle base distance, and final distance fields all default to the same numbers as we previously discussed. If at any time you want to start over while building the visual approach, just select Default. This resets all of the fields to the default settings. This option is only available before you have added the visual approach to the flight plan. 
If you are satisfied with the visual approach, select Apply to create a pending flight plan and then activate it. Once you have activated the visual approach procedure, the INAV map shows you the approach path on both the lateral map as well as the vertical situation display. It is important to note that the active or secondary flight plan cannot contain a visual approach procedure and an arrival procedure from the NAV database at the same time. So, for example, if there is already a star in the flight plan and you load and activate a visual approach, the waypoints associated with the star are removed from the flight plan. If you want to remove a visual approach from your flight plan, simply open up the visual approach dialog box and select delete and activate the change. The visual approach option on Pilatus aircraft provides pilots a great tool to help increase situational awareness while conducting visual approaches. This information helps pilots conduct safer and more efficient flights. While the visual approach feature helps the pilot fly more stable approaches, the pilot is always responsible for traffic and terrain separation during a visual approach. For more detailed information on building visual approaches on the Pilatus PC-12 and Pilatus PC-24, refer to the Honeywell Pilot's Guide.